Hey, this is Reverend Casey Carey. I want to talk about fortissimus. You know, it's fortissimo. It's the strongest. And so when we talk about and look at the saints, what we end up seeing is the edification, the purification, and also justification that comes through Christ. But it was through the Word of God that we have this blessing. God ends up giving us that strength. He sets us forth as military leaders upon having the blessing of God that goes forth. And more so than that, what we end up understanding is that as Christians, we're strengthened in faith. We're able to go forth and have that instruction through the Word of God that leads us into the ability to go forth, as some as teachers and others as different leaders, some as bishops, some as healers. And generally, we go through the different progression of the gifts of the Spirit, where some of us are given gifts to be able to speak in different tongues, others to do great works, others for healing, some for prophecy. What we end up doing is actually building these gifts through the understanding of God and through the building up of the Holy Spirit. So that as we end up looking towards God, what we end up finding is that God strengthens us, He edifies us, and He gives us that strength. It's built up in God. And so generally, He builds us that fort of protection that we have that ends up being a wall that gives us all of God's goodness and surrounds us with His blessing and allows us to be impenetrable for the enemy because of our faith in God. Even with the armor of God, it's brought forth, and so that's a perfect example. And what you end up seeing is that the sword was actually the Word of God, whereas your faith acts as the shield. And so that assurance of salvation acts as an armor, it's a helmet, over you that protects your mind, so that when someone gives you the slightest inclination that you're not saved, that that assurance of salvation comes and protects your mind. The righteousness of your life, and living a good life, acts as that breastplate of righteousness that goes forth. Whenever you have truth, around your belt, it girds and loins, you know, and it gives you the ability to go forward, knowing that living in truth with everything before you, and it ends up being able to where you can't have the falseness of life come against you, because you've admitted your sins, and you've been forgiven for them. When you shod your feet with the gospel, you're walking in the path of the disciples of Christ. So we look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and all of the disciples, not just the gospel writers, but even look at Andrew, look at Thomas. You can look at all of them and be able to find perfect examples of those that followed in Christ and the story of Christ set forth within the gospels. So what we end up doing is actually edifying our steps, looking at those that were led by Christ so that we ourselves are able to become leaders in Christ, lead others into Christ, and also have that strength that is built up so that we become strong through Christ Jesus so that it is not ourselves that we boast of. But if we boast, we should boast in our weaknesses and all that we have overcome through Christ. So that as it comes to be, that fortissimus, the fortissimus, the strength of God actually comes from weakness. Paul said it like this, when I'm weak, then I'm truly strong. When we have overcome our weaknesses, what we've done is edified ourselves in building up the strength. But God has strengthened us. He's acted as that commander in chief that's been able to give us the opportunity to be able to grow in Christ so that through our weaknesses, we've become strong. He's building us up as that strength of God and edified us in the opportunity to grow with Christ through us so that we can become leaders regardless of our past, admitting that we are sinners, and then standing up as leaders and teachers amongst the people. And thus, through the word of God, edifying the sanctification of the saints. And that's where I find strength, that we are the most strong through Christ and it is in our weaknesses that we can find that true strength. God bless you. May the strength of God be upon you. This is Reverend Casey Carroll from Venice. I'll see you.